My name is Luke M, and I am the founder and former president of Tea Society. My degree is hospitality management, and I have already graduated with my bachelor's with it, but now I am pursuing it in my master's degree as well now. It was 2020. Freshman year, we were all forced to live in the dorms, and in the dorms, there were a lot of policies of all rooms had like a limit amount of people you could have in there. The conference room in my floor in the dorm was like the only place where people can hang out. And I would just like start bringing the kettle and the tea boxes with me to the conference. And after a while, I would like keep like getting more tea supplies and it would take me like multiple trips with the kettle and getting all the other tea stuff and some snacks that I actually bought a tea cart. And then I would just like store all the tea supplies there and the kettle. And every time I was just, like every day, I was literally just like roll it out to the conference room and then just chill there and have my friends come by and we'll just like steady, talk, relax, play games. And it was just a really good social space for us. That's why I really wanted to try to recreate it the next year and make the tea club. But it was absolutely necessary. And I don't think my freshman year would have been as like fun and enjoyable as it was without that space. I believe that tea is the hospitality drink. Because again, you are like, you invite someone, you offer them tea, you don't like go out and meet someone and have tea. You go out to the house to have coffee, but when you invite them over or you come to someone's home, you say, hey, would you like a cup of tea? Well, the fact that they do free tea tastings every Saturday is such a huge thing because we're college students, we don't have money. Um, having a place to, you know, really enjoy a really high quality drink and talk to other people is a huge boon for our club and free drinks, free tea, free knowledge is great. And it's just like a really nice calming aesthetic. Like the whole place is really peaceful, honestly comfy. It's very comfy to hang out here and to sit down and like talk to other people. It gives us like, like this kind of speakeasy bar vibe, but in a tea version of that, where it's much more mellowed down and chill, but you still get to like, you know, sit down at the bar have a drink and talk to some strangers sometimes. So it's very hospitable in that sense. My favorite here in Culture Cup specifically is always been consistently the White Peony Special Grade. Um, I love white tea. White tea was my first tea, loosely for I got, so I'm kind of partial to that, but also because I just really like the flavors. White tea just has that really nice subtle flavor that I enjoy. And it's not really caffeinated at all, so it's really just a nice comfy drink to have. The White Pony Special Grade, I really like enjoy because it's still like a good price point while still remaining high quality. And for white tea, you really need to have higher quality to really enjoy it because I will admit, if you don't really get a higher quality white tea, it will kind of just taste like nothing sometimes. And so either you steep it for a long time or you get higher quality. That's my opinion. But white tea, a White Pony Special Grade is still my favorite. So I absolutely love the Culture Cup for that.